things. I still call it Bill's store. Bill's store to me has a lot of history because Bill would give us candy on Halloween. He would have knew, our names written Luke, on little bags. Bill knew all the kids in the town, and he knew when we came in and we had the families had um, our slips our, or credits. Yeah, so that kids didn't have to pay money. And, <laughs> and when Latrobus came in, they bought the store. It made it more commercial, less less intimate and personal, and that made Red Ink feel a little more um, distant to me. Felt like I was growing up. And it was also at a point in our life when we weren't completely... We weren't going to school at the elementary school. We were distancing ourselves in a way, but Bill was one of those people. I think he's the, the ideal model of an entrepreneur in my mind. He like takes the customers in, yeah, it's and just he cares about them and he listens. No, because not a lot of people are gonna want a business in running if they're trying to make a profit. They're if. That they have to be really passionate and dedicated to reading and, and it's, uh, it's meaning to them in order to keep the business up here because there's no other way, really. To what have other a, businesses are there? I don't know. There's Watrobas. Keepers. Keepers. Which isn't. The town hall. The greenhouse, greenhouse. is still a. a a good place to go. Because that's family run and everyone knows the... And the greenhouse family. Like, people from Woodstock come to the Reading Greenhouse, too. It's such a nice place. Yeah. They have good prices and everything. 